Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast with Phil Graham. We help you master Facebook ads and give you an unfair advantage over your competition. Are you ready? Let's go. What's up, podcast family? Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast, episode 337. Phil Graham here, and thank you for joining me for one of my favorite parts of the week, which is talking to you on this podcast. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create short vertical videos for your Facebook ads that can help lower the cost of your Facebook ads. The cool thing is this is a strategy that can help people with smaller budgets get more out of their money. And it's also great for anybody with a larger budget, obviously, as well. I want to read you a quote directly from Facebook. And they said, advertisers had a 12% lower cost per action on average when they used short vertical video ads. So again, on average, 12% lower, that's better, cost per action when they use these types of ads. And that is data from internal Facebook data from over 200,000 campaigns. So it is very important that you guys learn how to not only do this, but do it right. And that's what we're going to be talking about in today's episode. Now, if you guys want to connect, if you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one coaching so you can learn marketing and Facebook ads the right way, or if you're looking for somebody to run your ads for you, just go to my website, philgramdigital.com or DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital and I would love to connect with you. So I wanna jump right in. Let's talk about how we create effective, short, vertical video ads for Facebook and Instagram. Because again, it is so powerful. There's so much potential here. I'm gonna talk about the best practices that we found. First of all, the length, 15 seconds or less. Now, a lot of our video ads are 30 to 60 seconds. And for most of you guys, for the bulk of your ads, I'm going to recommend a 30 to 60 second time frame because you need enough time to get certain messages out. And it's tough to do that in 15 seconds. But in addition to that, you could also be testing these 15 second ads because this is the thing that Facebook is saying is generating better, lower cost per action. So it's definitely something you should be testing because it can be really powerful. You're obviously limited with how much you can say or do within 15 seconds, but you can do a series of these. So they build on one another and they could also still independently be really good by themselves as well. But again, the main message is you're not only going to do 15 second video ads, you're also going to going to do longer ones too. So keep that in mind. But for this, for this episode, for these types of ads, I want you guys to keep them at 15 seconds or less. In terms of placements, they can go anywhere and really they should go anywhere and everywhere, including reels. It's going to be focused on vertical slash mobile. So when you're recording those, make sure you're keeping that in mind and it should be vertical, of course. And for audiences, I recommend both warm and cold audiences, including like Advantage Plus audiences, lookalikes, and segmented interest audiences, as well as retargeting. And really everybody that you should be targeting should see videos and ads like this. So let's talk about ad content ideas for these short videos. The first thing I want to get across is that with 15 seconds to use, you're never going to get everything out in one video that you want to say or do, and that is totally okay. So just realize that it's like an appetizer at a restaurant. It's just a little preview to what's ahead and you leave people wanting more. And so if you know that going in, you're going to be comfortable just covering one little concept or hook point or inspiration point in a short video, knowing that they're going to want to learn more in your future video ads and on your website and wherever else you send them. It's okay that you're going to do these short 15 second videos. And you're also going to have other ads 
that are longer where you can and you will have the time to get everything out. It's going to be a blend of both. So don't worry about that. So in terms of content ideas and types of ads you should run for these 15 second vertical videos, number one, a great one that works well is using your face, putting your face in there. Anytime you can have a face with your brand or even audio where it's your voice, anytime you can do that, it can be really helpful. And whether you're talking about your day, your product or service or whatever the case may be, that's something that can really connect with people and that can work really well for these types of ads. Some other ideas are you could show the process of either making your product or your service, or if it's like a digital course or, or something, you could show what it looks like in the members area, for example. And of course, you can make it so it's quick. You can speed up the cuts and you know show this really quickly. Obviously, you don't have a lot of time to use. But you can do that and that can work really well for these types of videos. Other things could be little short tutorials and tips. If you are giving advice, obviously you're not gonna solve their problem in 15 second increments, but you can give them something good even in a short amount of time. And that can be a really good teaser for leaving them wanting even more. Some other ideas for your content for these videos, you could do behind the scenes type videos. You could do short testimonials from customers or clients. You could use user-generated content. You could create like a video ad series where there's multiple ads in the series. Each one could stand on their own if they don't see the others, but if they do see the others, they're gonna build on the previous one as well. And that can be really powerful. So you could be having like a topic and you could even tease it in one of your video ads telling them to watch out for the next one. So doing a series can work good. You could do an office tour or a home tour or a tour of your area that you work, wherever that is. Not everybody's going to want to do all these ideas. That's why I'm trying to give a bunch of different ones because any of these could be good. You could show your product or your service being used, like show it in action, whether it's you using it or doing it or somebody else doing it or both. And another great idea for these ads could be like a sneak peek of what's coming up. Like these are all great ideas and there's many other things you can do. There's a lot of great things that you can leverage when it comes to these short videos. So that's the fun part is thinking of these ideas, coming up with it. Don't feel like you have to be perfect. Just go out there and do it. Measure the data and adjust based off of what happens. And things can get very interesting. And then a few pro tips for you guys when creating these. Number one, even at 15 seconds, you've got to get their attention immediately with audio and visual hooks. So the second your video starts, first of all, if you're on the video yourself, you've got to be high energy and you've got to say something that's going to get their attention. And that is not an introduction. You don't want to start off with an introduction in an ad, especially when you only have 15 seconds. So you got to say something that immediately hooks them and gets their attention. And then secondly, audio wise, you could have music pop in. You could just create either music and or sound effects right away. You could also visually get their attention by doing something when the video starts, whether that's some kind of movement, maybe you're grabbing a phone, you're grabbing some kind of prop, whatever the case may be, you've got to hook them immediately. Another tip for you guys is, these are going to be fast paced. You know, so you want like clean transitions and you want it to be just a fast paced 15 second video. You definitely want to use text and captions for every word that's spoken in that video. And then you also want to use music in the background. I absolutely would have music on these types of videos. Make sure it's royalty free so you don't get in trouble for using some song you shouldn't use. But have a good upbeat song that matches your brand or your message. And that's super helpful as well. And then lastly, you guys should be doing a lot of testing. I covered a lot of different ideas you could use in these 15 second videos. And there's never one that's always the one that's the best. I mean, it varies. Sometimes one idea is better for some and other times a different one works better. 
That's why I wanted to give you guys a bunch of different options. So you want to try some different things and then look at the data, look at the numbers and do some testing, do some adjusting. And if it's not working, kind of find out why and make some adjustments. And then when it is working, do more of it and keep building on that and know that you should also be doing, like I said, longer videos and ads in addition to these shorter ones. I want to challenge every single person listening to this right now. This week, I challenge you to create one 15 second video ad and get it running. That is your challenge. Hopefully you make it happen. So I hope that was helpful. You guys, I know there's a lot of stuff here. If you have questions, feel free to reach out philgramdigital.com or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. But episode 337 is in the books. I've got a lot of great stuff coming up. So I will talk to you guys on next week's episode. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and share this with all your friends. For show notes, more tips, and to learn more about Phil, please visit philgramdigital.com slash podcast.